Hey guys, it's Heather here, and today I'm going to be talking about the basics to the Builder Base, the new competitive game mode for Clash of Clans. So just like in other areas of Clash of Clans and other Supercell games, you can buy gems to speed up your progress, but you can do what the rest of us do as well and just do your daily battles, have some fun, meet with some equal competition, learn, grow, and adapt your skills with millions of other players as just part of your other Clash of Clans gameplay. Just like we do our daily farm raid or every other day clan war, or maybe we just do one of those things. So the builder base in Clash of Clans is the versus battle. It's the 1v1. This is how you're going to obtain the majority of your resources that you need to be able to upgrade and add to your base. You cannot bring any of your resources from your home base except for your gems. So everything you do on the builder base, you're going to have to earn it through battles. And the higher your trophies are, the better your battle rewards will be. Be. So you do have mines and collectors and they can hold a lot more on the builder base than they can on the home base, but most of your resources are going to come from battling. And the only thing you need your resources for is to be able to upgrade your troops and your base because it doesn't cost you anything to build your troops or to start a battle. And resources gained from battling will be from a win bonus and then a 3x win bonus, which you get once per day. So you get two win bonuses plus a 3x win bonus on your your third win. Once you have won those three matches, you cannot gain any more battle rewards unless you gem it to start another round, but you can still gain trophies. You can still do battles once you have your win bonuses. So if you want to free play and build your base quickly, continuing to battle and increasing your trophies is incredibly important. Battle rewards increase significantly with trophy level. So you want to be sure and get to the highest trophy range possible before your next battle rewards are available. So so you can win plenty of resources to keep your builder base busy for the next day. In fact, even if you're going to gem your rewards, you can get far more value for that gemming by doing battles to get yourself up a few ranges and trophies, so then you can benefit from the higher rewards once you gem it and start your battle rewards again. So just like when you start playing Clash of Clans, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to build in the beginning, and everything's going to go by really fast, and you're going to be constantly wanting to build and buy new things. So the first First thing you're going to want to do is get your second army camp and also focus on your troops and be sure to watch the replays against your base and see how you can improve the defensive build of your base. Sometimes you think that a push trap is doing one thing and then you watch the replay and find out it's not pushing the troops to attack the building you thought it would. So if you watch the replays by pressing the attack button then clicking on the battle log on the bottom right corner, you can watch how people are attacking your base and make improvements to it. So let's go over the basics of troop building. In the builder base mode, you have army camps and a builder's barrack. Army camps can hold a single troop army and the barracks are what you use to train up the troops. Now, unlike in the home village of Clash of Clans, you don't upgrade your army camp to hold more troops. You upgrade the troops themselves in the star laboratory. The barracks will train a single troop army in one minute, no matter what kind of troop it is. They're baby dragons or barbarians, whatever. It's one minute to train them. Now, don't don't worry too much about the army you're training, just train something. Because in that one minute you have to scout the base before a battle starts, you can switch that army up as much as you want without any kind of penalty. It doesn't cost you any resources to train the troops and you don't lose anything if you want to dismiss them, but you will have to spend the time to retrain them if you decide to do that on your builder base. And also you can't start a battle without all of your army camps full and you also don't save any troops that you don't use up while you're fighting a battle. You're going to lose all of your troops even if you don't drop any troops at all. However, your barracks will automatically start training the same army you just used. You don't have to queue up any army. You don't have to start training troops. It's going to do it automatically for you. So like I said, the troops are upgraded in the star laboratory and there's several levels to each troop. And at each level, they're going to unlock a special type of improvement for that troop such as giving that troop an ability, improving that ability, improving hit points, improving damage, and increasing the number of units per army camp. Now, the first two troops you're going to be able to unlock are the Barbarian and the Archer. The first upgrade you have for these troops will unlock their ability. The Barbarians will get a Rage and become Rage Barbarians. They'll have an increased speed and damage for the first four seconds of deployment. And the Archers will unlock Cloak and they'll become Sneaky Archers. So when they're deployed, the Sneaky Archers will be hidden for the first three seconds. 
So once your army is trained, you can hit attack and then click on the find now button. And you're going to be matched up with the player in your trophy range. Now don't worry if you're just starting out, there are some protections in place for players in low trophy ranges to ensure they're not overmatched. And once you are matched, you'll have one minute to scout the base and determine how you're gonna attack it and also change up any troops in your army camp. Once you start the battle or that one minute expires, once you drop your first troop, you'll have three minutes to battle the base. And at that point, once you're battling, you cannot change up your troops, they are locked. So you and your opponent will be attacking each other's base at the exact same time. The winner is determined by whoever has the highest number of stars. If the stars are equal, you both have one star, you both have zero stars. If they are the same, then it goes to percentage. So the person with the highest percentage will win. If it is a tie, if it is equal on the stars and the percentage, then no one wins or loses. Is. The only thing you can lose while doing a battle is your trophies. Take your time to plan out these attacks. Time really isn't going to be an issue in the beginning, and there are some key things you want to consider while you're attacking. In the beginning, as long as you can take out that single defense, the cannon, you should three-star the base. This also means as you're doing your first battles, make sure to protect your cannon by surrounding it with all of your other buildings. You're also going to have enough gold to build a wall and a push trap, so use those to protect your cannon even more. And the higher up you get, the more defenses you're going to be facing, and the more difficult it's going to be to be able to three star with the army that you have. And this is where you're gonna to wanna to look at using your archers to pick off outside buildings and possibly using them to create a funnel for your barbarians. Another thing that you can do with those sneaky archers is you can have them start to pick off those outer buildings and then once they start to become unhidden, that's when you'll drop your barbarians and they can rage in past those buildings and start taking out defenses. If the town hall is exposed, either you can use archers to pick it off or you can use some barbarians raged against it to take that down. That's always a good thing to do because that's going to secure one star for you. But remember, you have a really limited amount of troops and the defenses are pretty strong. So be strategic about how you're dropping your troops. Try to get as many buildings as possible. Just one building can secure that win for you. As far as defenses go, the first defenses you're going to get in the game are the cannon, the double cannon, and the archer tower. The double cannon is going to shoot two shots and the archer tower is pretty cool because it has a long range mode and a fast attack mode. So fast attack works well if your base is more compact, but the long range can be really helpful to take out those archers that are on the outside that are picking off buildings before they get too far into the base. So just play around with that, see how your base is being attacked. I started out with the fast range mode and I noticed that a lot of people were able to pick off a lot of buildings on the outside. So I raised that archer tower up that would prevent those archers and the barbarians from getting too deep into the base and taking out all my defense. All right, guys, this wraps up the basics of how to play the new builder base for Clash of Clans. So if you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you love it, be sure to subscribe to me. I'm so excited about this new game mode. I'm excited to be doing tutorials about this game mode. I'm really excited to be playing it. So if you're excited, be sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be coming back at you again soon with more tips for the new builder base in Clash of Clans. And I'll also be doing stuff for regular Clash of Clans and Clan Wars. There's a lot of stuff going on there too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.